Okay, guys, and welcome back to another sewing vlog. This is going to be a tutorial for a simple sports bra. This, I'm going to show you guys how to make the sewing patterns, how to cut and stitch everything together. I'm going to put a list of the materials in the video description down below for you to check out as well, so you know all you need to create this design for yourself. Now I'm going to be working with stretch fabric, which means that my pattern has to be for stretch fabric as well. I will say you need about half a meter or even less depending on your chest size and how wide you want your sports bra to be. But I say half a meter is like a good starting point. I did get a little bit more because I plan to make matching leggings with this bra. Let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial for that by giving this video a thumbs up and we could possibly make that happen. Now with that being said, let's jump straight into this tutorial. I'm excited to share it with you guys. If you do enjoy this video, do give it a thumbs up, share it with your sewing community and let's get straight into this. Before we kick off this tutorial, I wanted to bring your attention to the ongoing contest of KDiva of the month. This is essentially the person who is the most engaging in terms of comments, likes and shares and you get to win a prize every single month. This is our winner for the month of March 2023 and all you have to do to enter is to continue to engage with all the content that I post on social media. Now with that being said, let's take a look at the materials I'm going to be needing for this sports bra. I have this two-way stretch lycra in the most gorgeous combination of pink and purple print. I also grabbed myself a one inch wide elastic band. This is going to help me add definition to the waistband and then I have a pair of bus cups I'm going to be inserting into the front. With these out of the way, these are the measurements I'm going to be working with. I always recommend using yours or that of your client for the best outcome, but I'm currently like a UK size 10 if you wanted someone's size for reference. With these measurements out of the way, I'm going to start off with making the patterns for the front and then work my way to the back. Now I have a piece of paper here and on that I'm drawing a long vertical line and along that line I'm going to be marking the length of my sports bra. Once I have that marked across on the top and on the bottom, I'm going to square it across so I have the hemline and the shoulder line for my front sports bra. Coming to the shoulder point, I'm going to mark the vertical distance from my shoulder to my bust line and then I'm going to mark 3 inches above my bust line, that is where my neckline is going to stop and it was a good point where I was like covered and it wasn't too deep. So I went in to square the bust line across and then I'm going to mark half of my across shoulder along the shoulder line like so this you want to mark on the narrower side and then my strap width is two inches this i'm going to be slanting by half an inch downwards on the outer edge like so before drawing in the shoulder slant once i have that drawn in place i'm going to go in to draw the neckline this you can make v round whatever shape you want but i'm going to do a simple scoop neckline that goes from the shoulder and then goes rounded into the center front edge now i'm coming to my bust line and i'm marking a quarter of my bust measurement minus one inch because my fabric has a lot of stretch and then i'm going to repeat the same formula along the hemline of this piece which is divide my hem measurement by four and then minus one inch and then i'm going to go to this bust edge like so lift it by one inch and then draw in my side seam this i'm going to be drawing like so so it has a shape that mimics the natural shape or line of my body and then once i'm done i'm going to use my pattern master to draw my front arm curve this would go in towards the bottom of the arm and then go up to the shoulder line and i'm just adding a notch to help me differentiate the front from the back. I have added a one centimeter seam allowance around my pattern so it allows me to cut it onto fabric. For the back pattern, the shape is essentially more or less the same. The main difference here is the neckline and the arm curve. Now I'm tracing off the center back edge, the waistline, the side seam because those are the same on the front and on the back. And then one of the main differences with the back is it actually has a C shape that goes in towards the back edge and then comes back out towards the side seam. This you can make as, you know, really sporty, really exaggerated as you would like. Mine came in as, I would say it was about two inches away from the center back edge. That's how close my curve was. Now my center back neckline is 1.5 inches below my shoulder and it's higher compared to the front because that's how I want the shape to be. You can 
make yours as low as the front so it has a deep back neckline as well but i want mine to be high as well i'm going in here to add notches on my back arm curve and then i'm going to add notches information my grain line so when i use this pattern to cut fabric i have an idea of how many pieces i need to cut and my grain line guides me to cut my fabric along the right direction <music> The last piece of pattern I'm going to be needing is the waistband and this is essentially the front plus the back hem width and this I'm going to cut in such a way that I have a pair once I cut this onto fabric. Now I'm going to be drawing a rectangular shape that is 3 inches tall, that's how wide the waistband is because I'm going to fold it against itself and then the length of the waistband is your front plus your back because I want one piece to go across the front and one piece to go across the back. You can cut yours as one continuous piece and then just have it joined on one side alone. The freedom is up to you but I kind of want my side seams to sit on the side for my sports bra. So I'm just going in here to add my seam allowance along the side. I'm also going to mark the middle point so it guides me when I have to like you know join center front to center front and center back to center back. I've added my grain line and I'm just adding in my annotation. This pattern I'm going to use to cut a pair or two pieces onto fabric. This is the last pattern piece I need because I'm going to be using the front and the back to cut the lining for this sports bra as well. Now this pattern has been made for stretch fabric so whatever fabric you decide to work with just ensure that it has some stretch in it because you should be able to wear the piece over your head without needing any zip, any button, any fastening of any kind because your material has stretch that would allow you to wear it. With my patterns out of the way I'm going to use them to cut my fabric. I have been practicing trying to match patterns along the side seam. I will keep practicing because it's something I really want to nail. It just looks so much more appealing when pieces match along the side seam of the garment. So I'm going to go ahead to cut the front, the back and the waistband. The front and the back I have cut on a fold and I cut a pair each of the front and the back of the sports bra as well as the waistband. The last piece that I have here on the right side of the screen that I didn't make a pattern for was I just cut a long strap. This is about one inch wide. This is going to help me finish the neckline and the arm curve of my piece so I don't have to fold anything against itself and it has a very nice and tidy finish. I cut this as long as possible and you can do yours as multiple cuts if you don't want to cut one continuous strip. Now I'm going to go ahead to work on the front and because I want to have bust pads in my front I'm going to cut a little corner here it's kind of like a rounded shape and this is going to help me create an opening along this armhole on the front so once I have my piece is done I have a little hole that allows me to insert my bust pads once I had that cut and out of the way I'm actually going to overlock it you can leave it raw because it's knitted fabric and would not really fray like that but I just want a tidy finish even on the inside of my piece so this this I'm just going to overlock around the curved edges on both sides before going ahead to connect it to the back piece. Now I have both the lining and the outer shell for my front of the sports bra and I'm going to be connecting them to the back pieces with right sides facing each other. The aim is to join the side seams and the shoulder seams of the lining and the outer shell for the sports bra and this I'm actually going to be sewing with my overlocker. Stitching with overlocker allows for stretch along the seams and it would not break as I wear this piece over time. So that's a tip for sewing stretch fabrics. You want to do it with something that is zigzag or something that overlocks or whips. So when you wear and the seam pulls there's a little bit of movement that can happen there and it does not just break straight away. Once I have both pieces stitched in place I'm actually going to be putting them together with wrong sides facing each other because I want the lining to be visible from the outside of the sports bra and then I'm going to grab that slim strap that I cut and that is how I'm going to be finishing the neckline. This I'm going to be sewing in two steps. The first step as you can see here is essentially sewing it on the inside of the neckline and I'm going to be pulling it in such a way that the actual neckline is a little bit bigger than the strap so when it's pulled and stitched down it helps the piece 
along the neckline to lay flat. So I'm going to be sewing on a one centimeter seam allowance, which is how much I added to my pattern. And as I'm sewing, I am pulling both seams to meet each other. Because this fabric has stretched, there is a little bit of give in there. So it's a little bit more forgiving to sew. After stitching it in that direction all the way around, I'm going to go back in and fold the rest of our bias tape in this case, which is the slim strap that we stitched earlier on. And this I'm going to fold against itself on the right side of the sports bra. And this I'm going to do a very slim edge stitch to continue seal the seam and have a beautifully finished neckline i repeated the same thing for the arm opening or the arm hole this is a cool way to finish sleeveless garments or simple round necklines if you don't want to do a facing or if you don't want to have a lining but in this case it just made everything look a lot nicer i went ahead to press that seam for the neck and the arm before going ahead to work on the waistband for the waistband i went ahead to join both pieces along the side seam and I'm going to fold it in half like so so I can attach it to the waistline of the sports bra now this I'm going to join side seam to side seam center front to center front and then I'm going to be stitching it all the way around using my overlocker like I did for the main piece but I'm going to leave a small opening that would allow me to pass the elastic band through so I have something that gives me access to the waistband once it's all stitched up now this is what it's looking like so far I've already cut out my elastic that is just a little bit shorter than the actual waistline width and with a safety pin i'm going to pass it into the waistband of the sports bra this particular step i would say is optional if you want a more comfortable fit i say don't just put the elastic at all but if you want something that would stay secure keep the piece from riding up then the elastic would come in really handy this i'm just stitching together along the open end i'm doing two stitches because i don't want to go to my domestic to do a zigzag stitch hence why i'm going to stitch it twice just to ensure that it doesn't break when i wear this piece over time once i was done closing off the elastic ends i'm going to go back in to stitch the opening close this i'm going to overlock as well and then i'm actually going to grab my boss pads and pass it into the front with those pockets that we made earlier on it gives me access to that this boss pad i would say is not the most ideal for sports bra but it's what i had in the studio and what i'm going to be using for today's demonstration i would highly recommend you get yours that is more comfortable and gives you more support this is a piece all done i'm obsessed with the print honestly i just love the colors the shapes the lines everything looks really really cool and i love how it came out this design could easily double up for a summer crop top as well if you just change the shape of the back and add some sleeves. I would also say if you want to have a more snug fit around the arm, you can take away some negative ease along the shoulder seam. And then I'll say ditch the elastic around the waistband if you want a more comfortable fit. And you can make this as long or as short as you like. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this project. This was a lot of fun to make. My first of many, many sports bras give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it tag me on your creations on social media and leave any other video suggestions or ideas in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye